Just when you thought you'd heard all the bad news about COVID, back pain is emerging as a symptom of the virus. We're starting to see people who've reported unusually severe and persistent back pain after having a bout of COVID. Of course, just because you've got back pain doesn't mean you've got COVID. There are plenty of ordinary causes of back pain too. So how do you tell? Back pain due to COVID seems to occur later in the disease. It's unlikely to be an early symptom. It can even come on as you seem to be improving from the main symptoms of cough, shortness of breath, loss of smell and fatigue and so forth. Of course, if you had back pain before getting COVID, you can get it again and then the virus will often make this worse. If you've had back pain before, you'll also know what it feels like. Any back pain that's unusual, especially in a different site, raises suspicion that it could be COVID. Uh, back pain with COVID will feel different. It's likely to feel like a deep, intense burning pain rather than sharp stabbing pain that often comes on with a joint or muscle spasm. Importantly, COVID back pain is less likely to ease with changes in posture. For instance, ordinary back pain often feels better when you're lying down, standing, or less commonly when you're sitting. COVID back pain, however, is likely to persist in all these positions, but it may be worse in some positions compared to others. Back pain with COVID happens because the virus creates inflammation. And if this inflammation settles in the back or pelvic joints, then pain will be the result. Another cause, not directly related to the virus, is caused by the inactivity that it brings. If you feel unwell, tired and achy, then you're less likely to be active. And this lack of activity can bring on ordinary back pain and other joint and muscle stiffnesses too. These aches and pains are often aggravated by the COVID then. Some people experience shoulder and arm problems after COVID too, especially if they've been in hospital apparently, but we don't know why. That's not all. If you have a cough, then it can strain your lower back. To feel the effect on your lower back of a regular cough, stand up, place your hands on your lower back and cough gently. You should feel your low back give a little kick. Imagine this happening over and over again with a COVID cough, and you can see why it irritates the low back joints. So what can you do if you have back pain with COVID? Well, the back pain does get better by itself over a few weeks, but you can help it along with some gentle exercises. Look on our website for back exercises or general fitness routines. Uh, but if you want specific advice, then book a video consultation with James, our physio. During the day, remember to change your posture regularly so you don't seize up in one position, especially sitting at a desk or on the sofa. If your back symptoms are worsening or not getting better after about three or four weeks, then make an appointment to see us and we'll assess you. If you have underlying joint locking or muscle spasm, then these will need to be solved for the pain to go away. That's all. Thanks for watching.